Hashem Shai, in the That's spirit. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Some of you are Hebrew that. Israelites. Whether you know, like it, understand it, believe it or not, we're here to teach you the Bible from the scriptures, not from our own bellies, not from our own minds, but actually from off the paper. This is where you come to learn the Bible, from brothers that look just like you, okay? Yahusha told us to go out in the highways and byways and teach the people. He said, get thee into the hedges and bid them to the feast. And what is that feast? That feast is that everlasting life, that glory, okay? So we are the sons of thunder. It is our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they all might be saved. Khan? All right, Shalom. This brother having wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> now why Yahweh Shai said they want the high seats and they and they brought in their phylacteries, okay? And, 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 they, and, they, and they want to be recognized of men in the street. That This brother's wicked, okay? <laughs> he, got, he got his Gadite garment on. The thing is, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Turn around, man. No, 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 no. I gotta tie it around the I can't let it I'm skinny. I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm doing? Say something, man. Yeah, so, so like, the lady took, I bought this in November, right? I just got it Wednesday because of how long it took for her to make it. She decided to make everybody from her camps uh, Hanukkah garments first. And then everybody that wanted to come to the summit, she made their garments first. So she just made mine and sent it over. I figured I'm probably not going to get to wear it again until Passover. So I wanted to bring it out while it's sunny. Who connect with that? Oh, boy. Who connects that? She made my girl move swiftly. <laughs> she should. I, I was mad about that too because he See, said, "Look, that's Joel connect. That's why." Joel was like, uh, <laughs> "I told him." He said, "The lady said it's gonna take about eight weeks." He said, "It didn't take me that long." I know why. You girded you gird up. You fully girded. Man came man. Fully girded. All right, bring it out, man. Teach, Hawk. Teach, teach, teach. Right. So, because uh, 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 what y'all tried to do is y'all tried to get some fake Hebrew Israelite to go on Fox News. Some meek speaking brother that I never seen before. I didn't even see that. And make him the representative of the Hebrew Israelites. He was getting washed by that reporter. Anybody see that? You see, see that? Man sitting up there timid talking about, well, we have different approaches. What camp do you say he was from? The man ain't even say no camp. He sat with his arms folded, looking timid, man. He had no fringes. Oh, he on. was a uh, Facebook Israelite. All he had was, yeah. Okay. I didn't see that. And everybody speaking against camps is pissing me off too because you learn your Howard Bashim, your Howard Shah from camps. You learned that you had to keep the commandments from camps. You learned that Esau is the white man from camps. <laughs> Stop fronting on the camps. You needed us to come out here and tell you this truth because you wasn't going to find it in your churches, man. Right? Right, young brothers? Right, young brothers? Yes, sir. All right. Come talk to you. I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to teach you that you're the princes in the earth, man. Give me 1 Samuel 2 and 28. While they continue to be muscle heads, we're going to show you how to be princes in the earth. All right? I, I, as, as you can tell, I'm not even phased anymore by people that don't want to hear this word. Because the Most High said Israel's not going to listen. Give me Psalms 81 and 3 while he's getting that. I'm on the I'm on Samuel. 228. Oh, yeah, read 1 Samuel 228. This is the book of Samuel. Chapter 2, verse 28. And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest? To offer upon my altar. Just read the first part again. And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel? I want his first Samuel 2 and 8. I want it verse 8. Right. I said 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that. This is the book of again, Samuel, Psalm chapter 2, verse 8. And then when Eliel should be ready by then. Yeah. And raise up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the dunghill. He raises the poor out of the dust. He lifts the beggar from the dunghill. The poor, wretched, blind, and naked are you Israelites that are not knowing that, living in a Gentile state of mind. Yeah, it's the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's a lot of excitement. But how much of this money is being funneled back into your communities? How are y'all benefiting from them coming here making billions off of advertisements from the Super Bowl? How is it benefiting you? Guess what? They taking money from you on top of the money they making off this game for the city. All right? It's about time you put your needs first. That's what we're trying to instruct our people. It's okay to love yourself. Okay? It's okay to worry about your problems first. All right? Read it again, Ock. Verse 8. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lift up the beggar from the dunghill. Come on. To set them among princes. And that's what Israel means. Prince of the power with God. He's going to raise you out of the dust and set you among princes. But first, 
You have to bow down to this doctrine. You have to, the scriptures say you have to bow down your ear. Because i never seen people with nothing that's so proud. i never seen people on the bottom of society that's proud. Right? That's why the Bible says bow down your ear, man. Read what you're holding. Psalm 81.3. Uh, Psalms 81, three. Cry loud. Bring it out. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. 83.1. 83.1. Try that. Keep not thou silence, O God. Come on. Hold not thy peace. Read on. And be not My still. Bad. I know. I did. Okay. Go ahead. O God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Thine enemies make a tumult, man. Thine enemies make a tumult. That's why they got you on TV, villainized, demonized. How You know how the media is so genius. But I, I, I'm still shocked at how it still works. You know? Like, okay, we're gonna edit, cut, delete, and just put the parts where they're screaming at people looking like madmen. I expect people that even if they don't agree with us, is not with us, to still go, it was probably more to it than that. Nah, they don't do that. It was probably a little bit more to it than that, right? Like, right, sisters, what, what do they say we act like on the news? How do they say we act on the news, right? Eve ain't got nothing to say. Eve is worried about the Them lips will stick out six Eve, inches in front Eve of Eve is worried about, do my butt look right in these pants? So that when a brother says something about my butt, why are you looking at my ass? <laughs> okay, does my butt look right in these pants? That's what Eve is worried about, man. But I'm looking for a specific precept, okay? Because Israel's not gonna listen, man. The, script, the scripture says if I'd have gone to any other nation, man. Matter of fact, um, finish reading that, I'm gonna get that. That hate thee have lift up the head. Come on. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thine hidden ones. That's why all the media outlets are saying the same thing at the same time. I mean, these are competitors. You got Fox competing with MSNBC. You got MBS and MSNBC com competing with BBC. But for some reason, they all came together to publish the same news story with the same clip from the same perspective. Read that verse again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people mm. and yeah. consulted against thy hidden ones. Yeah, because it's, it's almost easy to do that, man. It's easy to do that. Um, get, keep reading on that. Hold on. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right, because what happens if you allow them brothers to make their eloquent points and prove what they're saying? Give me Isaiah 48, 18, and prove what they say. What if you let the whole thing come out where the brother was teaching? Because you know what them kids, they said the Bible's not a real book. That's one of the things they said. They said that Bible's not a real book. And the, and the brother went into the scriptures to show them that. They edit all that part out and they only put the part where the man is yelling out obscenities and screaming at people. That's why I say you gotta be careful how you represent this truth, man. Read what you got. Can I get this last point out? 48 and 18. All right, read what you got. That the name of Israel may be no yeah, more yeah. in remembrance. Yeah. Go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. What's that? They are confederate against us. Confederate. The Bible has confederate in it. Why, when are we going to become confederate with each other? When are we going to become confederate together, man? I can't wait till I can go to every hood and I'm good. I get, I get something to eat? Yeah, come on in, brother. Hey, yo, man. I had a brother, an Israelite brother, he stayed the night at my house last night. He said, yo, I got a long drive. I need a bed, man. I got to rest my head. I said, come on in, brother. I woke up this morning, the man washed my dishes, man, and, and put my living room in order, man. Here the time ready. Here we go. again why every time we get to making a good point the fire sirens come man huh you think it's by accident you think it's by accident our channel got taken down and YouTube is playing dumb 
Like they can't figure out how to get our videos back, even though we YouTube partners. And you know what's funny? Google has a backup server to everything. Google, Google, Google backup oh, server. Even, even when you fill out your information on Google, it tells you do you want to back up all your stuff that you never no, uh, Right. And, and they have a backup, they have a backup server. All, all they really have to do is revert you to a prior date. Right? And then right. your channel will be restored to how it was on that day. But, but they acting simple like they can't do that, man. Read that verse again. Because they confederate. What's up, brother? How you doing, sister? Because they, they have... Go ahead, go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. And their consent to consult together is so that their kingdom can continue to go on forever, man. I mean, do y'all understand that this is war? Do y'all really believe that? Like, like, who's gonna stop being in power to put you up right next to him and stand next to you and then y'all be in power together? Where has that ever happened in history? Can you show, we, we had to study history in school. Name, name the civilization that brought up the other civilization and sat them next to them in power. Brothers look at confounded. So you really think Esau, when he was giving you civil rights, was trying to make you equal with him? You, when he made his affirmative action, you thought that was to help you? That was to help the white woman. Everything is a, is a secondary mission. You think when Esau come with his cameras to fill your camp, to, to film y'all, he's trying to get more exposure to he's what you guys get, are teaching. He's trying to get information on what you guys are teaching. Come on, man. They are confederate against you with one consent. Read on. Go ahead. <laughs> they are confederate against thee. Come on. The tabernacles of Edom. And that's the first people mentioned, right? <laughs> it's all, it's 18 nations, but the first people that's confederate against you is one of the youngest nations, okay? He could have said the Hamites first. He could have went into the Persians. He, he could have brought Elam out. Elam is ancient. It's also the one who's, who's, who's like main captivity we're in right now. But, 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 but Esau is not the white man. Right. Madness, simplicity of thought. And, I, and I'm not impressed anymore. Ezekiel 3 and 5. Read that. Read Ezekiel 3 and 5. Okay? The problem is y'all don't want to be the greatest people on the face of the earth. So it's easy to subdue you. You looking for an excuse not to be the top nation. Actually, you're looking for any excuse not to stand against your apparent enemy. Any excuse will do. What's the favorite excuse? It's not all of them, brother. <laughs> They all not bad. They all not That's bad, all brother. It was the past. Damn, it's cool. Brother, you still dealing with that? That was in the past, brother. So he could continue to smoke his weed and sit on the couch and chill in, in, in another man's kingdom. But the Bible says better is little, little in a place with peace and righteousness than delicate fare in another man's house. But we don't want that. We don't want to rebuild and start from the bottom with our people. We just trying to figure out how to make it work here with what's already going on. And it's never going to work like that. Because it's easy. It's the, that, that's the easy way out, but it's not going to work like that. There's no precedent in history that shows you that that has ever worked. It you, it's not around. There's no, there's no sample. You can't, you can't find a sample and say, okay, well, it worked for these people. Let's try it with the way that they did it. There's no, there's no target audience to even try that on. Because they don't exist. Ezekiel 3, 5. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 5. Read loud. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language. That's We was never sent to these other nations. We were sent to our people that understand what we saying. Go ahead. But to the house of Israel. I, I prove what I'm saying. Go ahead. Verse 6. Not to many people of a strange speech. Not to many people, because the Most High was never dealing with many people. Go ahead. And of a hard language. And of a hard language. I, have you ever tried to speak Cambodian, brother? <laughs> Cantonese? Not saying that it's not Israel. All right, let me stop. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Whose words... <laughs> oh, order, 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 order. Like Whose words thou canst not understand. Come on. Surely, had I sent uh, thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. See how the Most High feels? If I'd have sent you to the other nation or the other people, they would have listened. It's Israel that don't want to hear. Read on. Verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. They will not listen. You can tell them, listen, man, they just, what? A police officer just rolled up in a brother's house and put the man to death and, and, and got away with it because it, she said she was scared. How? Instead of just dealing with that sample, deal with what that means. That means somebody can come into your house and you defend your home and you can die and there's nobody's fault. It's your fault. 
That's really what it means. What it means when they come with these cameras to film you and what you're doing, what it means is, let's find a way to demonize these niggas because they think they know something. That's what it really means. You, you really think an Edomite reporter wants to hear you break down the Holy Scriptures? No. He's trying to find a way to get in there to show these people are, don't listen to them, and then our people are the ones that are gonna buy into it. Like, yeah, that, that's good. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me not to listen to them. Right? Because we're looking for that excuse, man. Read that again from the top and then read verse six. Verse five. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech in a hard language, Come on. but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou cannot, uh, canst not understand. Come on. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. If I would have sent you to the other nations and said, you are the greatest people on the face of the earth, they'd be like, okay, what do we have to do now, Lord? Right? But when you came to the Israelites, we said, not so. Not so, Lord. Not us. Well, what's wrong with the heathen? We had much sorrow since we separated from them. Ain't that what they say in Maccabees? Yeah, we was eating eat good with them. Oh, what they said in the wilderness. Well, we, <laughs> while we in the wilderness, we want to sit by the flesh pots. Back when we was in Egypt in slavery, that was comfortable. And, 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 and that's the way our people think, which is sad. It's funny, but it's sad, because it's not funny. Right? Read the next verse. Verse 7. Go ahead. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, mm. for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-headed. All of us are impudent and hard-headed. Even those of us that understand the truth, we still impudent and hard-headed. Because look how long it took us to fall in line, right? I was learning the truth and still trying to blend wickedness with the truth. Like, I'm going to make this work. Wick wickedness, I'm going to put this together. No. The most high had to jack me up a couple times. Now I'm out here pushing the word, man. That's e right. Esau's in the car laughing, making mockery of the garments, of the gathering. Because in their mind, it's absurd. Like, you, y'all people are never gonna be nothing else. Do you understand? That's how they feel. It's almost a joke. Like, y'all really gonna rise up? Oh, this time? How'd that work out for Martin Luther King? Right, they at the Martin Luther King day, when well, he gets a day, and they're out there with MAGA hats on. How come, the, how come the news didn't cover it from that perspective, man? Like, why are you at the Martin Luther King day ceremony where the Native Americans are speaking, but y'all got MAGA hats on. Don't you think that's a little disrespectful considering the narrative? It's a lot, it's a lot of disrespect. Considering the narrative? But the news is not gonna cover that. They just gonna jump right to the brothers that screaming, hollering, and yelling, and say, look, these guys are crazy nuts. They're bad. This is mean, this is hate, right? It's so easy to be white, yo. I was listening to a radio show <laughs> with this comedian. His name is Louis C.K. Y'all ever heard of Louis C.K.? Nope, I heard he, he, He's a redhead comedian. Redhead. And he'll tell you, oh, it's so much fun being white. Like, that's his shtick. That's that's his gag. He'll just be like, yo, it's so much fun being white. It's so easy to be white. Like, not like you people. And he's one of the white comedians that says, nigga, if you ever, if you ever think about it. Of, of course, Eve spoke and the man says nothing. Yeah, right. Just keep, just keep it moving. Probably so. But the women in that religion are out front. So now... He's, he's comfortable saying nigga. And his his number one gag is, it's so easy to be white. It's so simple, right? Because look, because look, what happened with Rodney King after he got his face stomped off? He's up there crying. He's a big, burly black dude, man. He's up there crying, talking about can't we all get along? He's not mad that the cops stomped his head to the white meat. He just wants to be friends, man. Right. So we are the easiest people to exploit, take advantage of, rape, rob, and murder. You think, you think Esau picks hard targets? He's dropping bombs on niggas living in caves, man, um, milking goats. He doesn't pick hard targets. It's always called, he always chooses a soft target, right? He doesn't want to put troops on the ground. He wants to put drones in the air. How can I make this easier? I don't want to go to Japan who, who sent kamikaze soldiers, men willing to die for how they felt, to sacrifice their lives to hurt America. I'm not going to send kamikazes over there. We're just going to nuke you and boil the skin off your back. We're gonna take the easy way. Come hear the word, huh? Right? It's for you too. So the, so the, okay, okay. He's like, brother, I like my job here. I don't want no problems. Listen, man, it's just so easy. But Israel, the most high is like, it's almost like, it, 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 it's almost like, yo, here's how you win the game. And we're choosing every door except the winning door. And he's already told us the winning door. He's like, listen, Victory's behind this door. And we're like, ah, I don't want to touch that door. Can we just try this one? Maybe I can climb up another way. That's why Yahweh Shai said, any man that climbs up another way, 
It's a thief, man. You gotta do this the way the most high prescribed. Read, read the precept you holding. Yeah, read this precept you holding. Go ahead. I hope Book they of shut Psalms, it chapter 81 and verse Get, um, 13. Isaiah 48 and 18. Read, read. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 81 and verse 13. Read. Oh, that my people that hear hearken unto me, and Israel hath walked in my way. Read it one more time. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. Oh, that my people would have listened to me. You see how the most high feels, man? Come on. And Israel had walked in my ways. And if they just would have walked in my ways, it would have been so simple. It would have been so easy for them. But they chose the hard way, man. And the hard way is what we think is the easy way. Hmm? Rather than have your own uh, uh, society, rather than have your own infrastructure, you want to beg for it from the enemy who hates you. Well, I mean, come on, there's so much work involved, and then we gotta go to war, and blah, 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 because that seems like the hard way, but that's actually the easy way, because the benefits are everlasting. But you wanna go the real hard way, which is begging your oppressor to love you, he's not gonna do it. He don't like you, okay? He pretends to like you, and his pretending is not even good, man. He's a, he, he's a, yo, Esau's a bad liar, like, be real. Like, when he's pretending to like you, he's like, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for him, man. Read it again, man, all the way through the smooth. And then read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 81 and 13. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, mm. and Israel had walked in my way. Well, what happened? I should soon have subdued their enemies. I would have taken their enemies out. You so worried about facing your enemies that you won't listen to the Most High in fear of your enemies. But if you listen to the Most High, he would remove your enemies. Read it again, man. I should have soon subdued their enemies. She said soon, quickly. Come on. And turned my hand against their adversaries. And turned his hand against our adversaries, man. And who can fight against the Most High, man? You got to tap into that spiritual power, but you won't do it. Because it seems easier to just be a second class citizen, a fifth class citizen in America. Isaiah 48, 18. So Isaiah chapter 48, verse 18. Read. Oh, that thou had hearkened to my commandments. That's the same thing that you read in uh, Psalms, ain't it? That's the same thing that Asaph said. Same thing that Isaiah is saying. Read it again. Um, oh, that thou hast hearkened unto my commandments. Oh, if thou would have listened to me, man. Read again, read on. Then had thy peace been as a river, then and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Your peace would have been as a river, man. You wouldn't have had to go through the suffering that you're going through. But y'all don't want to listen, man. Y'all want to rent cars for the Super Bowl to look fly. You're going to drive slow on the crowded street so everybody can see you. You want to give all your money to the enemy that hates you and uses your money to destroy you. Right? You want to treat your women like trash. The women want to treat the men like trash. Everything that pertains to you is destructive. But when you get in the, and when you, when you pertain yourself to this other man's kingdom, then all of a sudden you know how to act. And that's easy for you. What's really easy is coming into this knowledge and keeping the commandments because they're not grievous. That's easy, right? Can I get a con on that? Uh. Give me James, uh, give me Judges 2 and 17 and I'm gonna pass the mic before I get mad because we just got out here. I'm already mad because reading these precepts is frustrating. Like it's why won't Israel listen? Why? Why is it so easy to be a coon? Why is that easy? What? It hurts my pride. I'm at work. And, and once my feet begin to shut, I gotta grab my leg, man. I'm not cooning. I'm gonna lose this job before I coon, man. And you know what, Esau, he respect that. He'd be like, yeah, you, you be going to, huh? Well, you, cause it seems easy, like, I wanna keep this job, I don't want no problems. And then you start to rat -tat -tat, start tapping, and you gotta, but see, thank God I know the truth, man. See, and it take a real brother to admit that that be happening. Y'all know I ain't lying. You just don't want no problems with this man. You're like, yes, sir, sir. You wanna get talk all nasal, sir? All right, sir. Hey, buddy. That water cooler talk, man. But the spirit jumps on me and be like, hey, don't do that. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. Why am I doing that? This is a, a, I've seen princes walking on the ground and servants riding on horses. This is a servant on a horse right now. You say, come on, buddy. And then your mind get right. And then Esau, he kind of feel the spirit change. And the angels kind of start crowding around him in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Look, and he I'll leaves you alone. I'd be at work the same way, man. He's gonna come around, you know. I have to shoot the shit with him. Right, you got, got to. And then can carry on, but then it's just like, you know, wait, I'm not for that. At first, when I first got there, I had to, like you said, man, damn man had to, you know, be treading on, walking on edge shit. Right. But then once I got, once I got, you know, 
in there and it was just like, you know what? I'm gonna say what I wanna say. I'm about to say what I wanna yeah. say, man, because it's true. Yeah, I'm gonna say I ain't what I lying. Say. Yeah, I ain't lying. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, East Coast, they, they, they didn't respect that. Yeah, and if you come to work on time, and you stop fumbling around and you be good at your job and right. you take it serious, he got less room to play with you. Oh. Be royal, man, in your fashion. Read that Judges 2.17. There's a book of Judges, chapter pull, 2, pull verse your, 17. Pull, pull your pants up. Stop coming to the job <laughs> reeking of weed. Go ahead. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges. And yet they wouldn't even hearken to the judges. So when we come out and we try to teach our people, what do they do? They pull away the shoulder, man. Nah, you can't judge me, man can't judge me. And that's the description of Israel in the Bible. They won't even listen to their own judges. Can't judge me. So you're making it harder and harder for the Most High to save you. Nothing is beyond his strength, but you're just making it inconvenient, right? You're making it inconvenient for the Lord to save you. If only you would just hearken and listen to me, I would have subdued your enemies quickly. But y'all would have still be wicked, man. And you want to be under these people, man. Look how weird these weird looking guys, man. He look like his name Jeffrey. <laughs> and this is his kingdom. How did he get a kingdom? Do you, if you really be spiritual and you think about it, there's no way Esau can take this earth like he did unless the Most High gave it into his hands. Get that, uh, Job 9 24. How y'all sisters doing? Y'all all right? You want to hear the word? You want to learn about yourself in the Bible? Yeah, finally. Read it, read, read it so they can hear it. The Bible. Book of Job. they looking for a man. Read. Chapter 9 and verse 24. Come on. The earth is given. Into the hand of the wicked. The earth was not taken by the wicked. It was given to them, man. That's how Esau could this yeah. weird. Look, look at this. You know what I'm saying? The most high sending examples, man. How is this guy a warrior? Larry. And that's your former emperors. <laughs> you know? That's your former Republican uh, judges back in Rome. They was looking like him, man. They wasn't able to stand against us. Come on, man. Take your royalty back and take your power back. Finish that out, Ikara. Read it again. It's the book of Judges, chapter 2. 17. And you know what? Read that. Read, read. Verse 17. And yet they will not hearken unto their judges. Come on. But they went and whoring after That's other gods. That's what's the main problem. Idolatry, man. And idolatry is just not worshiping like fake gods made up in your mind. Idolatry is putting anything before the most high. That's really the essence of idolatry put in anything before the Lord, man, okay? Because that's where your strength and your help is, okay? When you go in them churches, they're not dealing with the Lord because they're not teaching you nothing that the Lord taught. That's right. They're just giving you an American comfortable doctrine to keep you docile. But when you really deal with the Holy Scriptures, man, it puts a warrior spirit on you, man. It makes it impossible to cool, man. Impossible, you know? Our sports athletes should all be required to become Hebrew Israelites. Then go play, right? right. What would they do with the money then give it back to us how would they handle disputes then right instead you got guys turning their back on colin kaepernick because he wants the cops to stop killing your stupid ass so but y'all don't want to associate with him no, no, nothing to do with it we can't get our music our music artists to boycott the damn halftime show they can't help themselves they want that fame so bad and that's and, that and, and, and that's that bad. idolatry the sad thing is they pay to perform at the halftime you don't get paid for that you pay what the hell? That's hey. crazy. That's gonna pay me. I mean, you so make it usually. back it, 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 off it, of performance royalties. There, there you go. It's just like a, But it's like you bid for that spot. You market yourself. Yes. That's all. And who are they gonna put out there? Cardi B, man. That's the representative of the Israelite woman. They Simeon. Simeon, do something about Cardi B. This is what <laughs> this is what they want our women to do. Clown. Wow. This is an you elder. Say, you've got a beard. She's supposed to be teaching us. How y'all doing? Yeah, <laughs> MJ Key, I mean MGK. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Oh, it, read it. So, read it again. Psalms 81 and 13. Where do I start? Where do I start, brothers? Back him up. Read it slow. The Book of Psalms, chapter 81 and verse 13. Read. Got the middle word. Read up. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. And Israel had walked in my ways. Oh, that Israel would have walked in my ways. What would the Most High have done? I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. That's the, like, that, that blows my mind. That the Most High has to, Can you imagine the Most High in his office, his spiritual office, like he's just throwing papers? Why won't they listen? 
I want to help y'all. You know that way. But y'all don't want to keep the commandments. You will not worship me. You will do everything else except what I ask you. Right? Most I probably chill and just call them stupid. How, 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 how many of y'all are parents, man? And when you tell your child exactly what to do so he can get the result he want, and then he do it another way, that frustration you feel like, ah. why you don't listen to me? This is why I gotta take my belt off, cause you don't listen. I'm uh, double kind. What bit? Listen, I've been on the world 30 more years than you. I know what I'm telling you, right? That's like a 12 year old telling a 24 year old, I know how to do what I'm doing. Brother, brother, I got 12 years on you, man. You think I don't really know what I'm telling you right now? You think I'm a lie to you? That's how the Most High feels. He said, oh, if Israel would have listened to me. So Isaiah had to say the same thing. Run the precept again, man. Isaiah 48, 18. I got to drive this home. Because I want y'all to start feeling like that. When y'all see wickedness and when y'all see people going off, I want y'all to say, oh, if y'all would just do what the Lord says, it'd be easier for you. Read it. Isaiah 48, verse 18. Read. Oh, that thou had... Uh, has hearkened unto my commandments. Why they all start with, oh, why? Because uh, it's frustrating, man. Uh, you will not listen to the Most High. You want to do everything else, man. Yahweh Shah said you want to climb up another way. It's not going to work for you. The reason you put GPS on is because it takes you exactly the way you need to go to get you there. Don't you get mad when you're in the cab and he start taking the long way? He don't take the right way? And it's costing you, don't you get mad? It's how the most high feels. You're trying to climb up another way. You're taking the long way. Judges 2.17 said you will not listen to your judges. Only our people had that problem. White people, they back up whoever. They got behind Donald Trump. He don't know a damn thing, but they backed him up, yes? Donald Trump is stupid when it comes to politics, yes? He doesn't know anything. He's a businessman. So he's not a politician. But didn't white people get behind him? Like, uh, uh, I'm aligning myself with this, though, because it's for my best interest. Well, why we don't do that with us? And then you let the media put you on CNN and make it look like we don't have any eloquence in our speech, man. Give me Isaiah 3 and 3. I'm going to show you something. When it comes to the Israelites, we, we're the best speakers, too. But they're going to snap, cut, edit, and show that crass vulgarity and say that's what these guys represent. That's what they are. Because that's easy to do, man. Media is basically witchcraft. Read it, Isaiah 3, 3. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 3. Read it loud, because Israel going to keep walking, but they're going to hear it. The, the captain of 50. We had captains of 50. That means we had order amongst ourselves. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Read on. And the honorable man. And we had honorable men amongst us. Read on. And the counselor. And the counselors. We had counselors. We didn't have to go to the white men for nothing. We, we, we got to go to them for a psychiatrist, man. My mind is messed up. I got anxiety. You talking to a white dude who, who's not half the strength or spirit that you have trying to tell you how to deal with your problems when he's the cause of your problems. Think about it. It don't make no sense. Right. He, neither is he dealing with the, the, the kind of lifestyle that you go through. Exactly. He can't relate. He can't, can't relate. But you're going to pay him. Sure. You're going to pay him $118 an hour. Keep reading, Art. And the cunning artificer. The cunning artificer. Cunning means creative, crafty. Artificer means a uh, designer. So we had the, 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 the crafty, cunning designers. That's why it says cunning artificer. That's what that word means, right? He's so confounded. How do these niggas know that? How, do you, how does he know that? <laughs> you say that word. I don't even know what artificer means. Peter Griffin. He speaks so well. You know, this man's talking to the damn pigeons. He's gone. Look at him. They, see, they, and how are they in charge? How did they get up above you and you get very low? It had to be of the Lord, man. Keep reading. And an eloquent orator. <laughs> and we had eloquent orators. That means we had great speakers, man. We had all that. We didn't have to go to the nations for nothing. They try to give you Socrates and Plato. They are trying to give you Shakespeare. Listen, man, our people, we've been had that since ancient days. Because that's what we are. We are a royal people. Okay? But how do you, how do you reclaim your royalty? How do you get your royalty back? We're gonna go back again. First, uh, First Samuel two, verse eight. How do you get your royalty back? If you are royalty, a royal people, and right now you're in a low estate, you're living in squalor, uh, your deplorable conditions, your mind state is ruined. You hate your own people. You have no organization. You have no infrastructure. How do you get out of that state and get lifted back up to being royalty? Of course, the answers are in the scriptures. <clears throat> Read it. First Samuel chapter two and verse eight. He raises up the poor out of the dust. He raises up the poor out of the dust. Come on. And lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. And lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. You are a beggar because you have to go to your enemies in want of all things. By default, that makes you a beggar because you have to ask for it. You can't get it for yourself. But the Most High can lift up the beggar. 
and what he's gonna do after he lifts them up. To set them among princes to, and to make and to make them inherit the throne of, the, of glory. To set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of, of the throne of glory. That's called being made royal again. You see it? Can you, can you understand it? Scripture's not hard to understand, but you gotta read them and you gotta study. You gotta take your time too. And you gotta link them together, precept upon precept. That was the greatest thing I ever learned, precept upon precept. Because then I could read the Bible on my own and understand it. Because I could go find a precept and get the understanding. Before I used to read the scriptures, confound it. What does this mean? Well, that can't be relevant now. All right, this probably doesn't matter. Oh, uh, just love your neighbor as yourself. Bible clothes, right? Now I understand the deep things. And the real meaning behind these words is that Israel, oh, if you would have listened to me, I would have destroyed all your enemies. And I would have set you on a throne of glory. But y'all didn't want to. You wanted to be hard-hearted and impudent, meaning disrespectful too, which are disobedience. You know, like I'm gonna be wicked and what? That's impudent, man. And the Most High gonna smack you down for that. And he's gonna make you go through chattel slavery for that. Huh? The scripture said that the uh, at one point in the siege, the, the, we, the women had to eat their children. That's a punishment from the Lord, man. That's in Deuteronomy. 28. That's in Deuteronomy 28. He said you're gonna have to go to your enemy and want of all things. He said you're gonna be a proverb and a byword. So now Esau gets to ride down in his rental car and point at the prophets and laugh, man. Look at them in their funny garments, man. When this is how your house is gonna come back, man. Except his is gonna be red all the way up to here, right? Why is that? Huh? Because he's gonna be coming from T Man and Day Don. Where's those places? Over in Edom. And that's spiritual. Because Esau's kingdom is here. And he's gonna make this place a den of dragons. Right? So taking your royalty back is just keeping the commandments. Huh? Keeping the Sabbath is being royal. It's being princely. I'm keeping the Sabbath. Right? Thou shalt not lie. Letting your mouth and the words that you speak be true and pure. That's being royal. Right? Honoring your father and your mother. Choosing to respect your parents is being royal. Because my parents are worthy of respect. Because they, they sacrificed for me to be here. That's being royal. Yes? yes Putting no other God before the most high The real God is being royal Because why would you be How can you be a prince or a king worthy of respect And you worshiping a false God That doesn't exist A fairy tale You can't be royal You're a laughing stock But worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai That's being royal Good. Right These are the things that you have to take back Being able to respect your man's wife Right That's it. This, These are wives and daughters here being able to look at them, sister, 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 daughter, daughter, right? And not covet them. Because you respect your brother so much. That's part of being royal. Now we can come, we, we can come together now. That's right. In the world, sometimes, yo, you could be best friends with somebody, but I never bring my girl around them. Nah, 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 nah. Not that grimy. That's disgusting, man. That's a, brother's laughing, but that's a sad way of living, man. Yeah. Because that's not royal, man. We're going to eat off solid gold dinner plates in the kingdom, man, but you gotta be worthy of that dinner, yeah? And for no reason, just to interrupt what we're saying, because the point is being driven home and the, and the word is getting good, so the sirens come, right? You children, man. Y'all, if by the time y'all are my age, if y'all keep the commandments and stay in the truth, you will be better than me, because you'll have known the truth longer than I have. Y'all understand what I'm saying? By the time this brother is my age, pushing the word, he's gonna be more senior than me in the word. You see what I'm trying to say? Brothers ain't ready for that. P part of being royal is putting your, subduing your pride to c finish the mission. That's also part of being royal, man. And once you brothers grasp that and make that a part of your culture, now your culture is royal. 